Okay guys, here's some little short video of the actual wing mechanism working. You can see that it's got three pretty beefy hinge points that they've put into it. It's actually controlled by a servo located right there. That's driving a push rod right there. And you see that locking bar that's spring loaded to the out position. It's tied to strings to the servo in the center of the fuselage that pulls an inboard on each side. It's a Metal Gear servo. Pulls it in. It's got a delay to it. And then it lets it back out. You can kind of see it right there. It slips right back into the wing. Uh, comes out to about here. It's, it extends into this wing panel here the better part of an inch. It's only It could actually be longer but it's limited by the control arms and the space on the servo that's located right about let's see it's actually located right about here turned upside down on a double arm pivoting back and forth. Far out view And I'm using an EMS uh, sequencer to do these wings, not the stock module, since we're having a lot of problem with compatibility to Futaba, since this is all on a Futaba 12FG. It works. Also, the uh, two sequencers for the F4U Corsair, the B25 from PWRC, which is for those two FMS birds and their gear door sequencing. Uh, they also work. I've got a pair of those and I've tried those as suitable substitutes. They work real well too. That was a speed down. That's just a programming I got my radio to blow the wings down if I have to.